Hello, my name is Platini. We're going to say that will probably be the name for now on because it is a character that is created. And the book, The Entity Phylum. And a lot of people are not aware of what a scientific phylum even is. So when we talk about a phylum at all, what does it mean? What exactly does it mean? Well, a classification of life is what it is. Everything living is in a phylum. So for people that don't understand that, they don't really know. If you hear me typing in the background, that is me actually going to pull up the definition of a phylum under a definitional state. Let's see. It says phylum, P-H-Y-L-U-M, a principal text on the mark category that ranks above class and below kingdom. A group of languages related to each other less closely than those forming a family, especially one in which the relationships are disputed or unclear. I really don't think that's a good definition of a phylum <laughs> at all. Um, a group of languages, here we go again with this. It's, uh, this is a 19th century modern Latin from Greek Fulon race. I don't believe that's it either. A simple definition of phylum. Scientific term grouping together related organisms on the basis of their fundamental characteristics. And it gives like a graphic example, kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. And basically what it is, is it's, it's, it's what classification you are in life. Like uh, sponges are in periphery. It's a classification that they're all in. If they want a sponge, they put it in periphery. Uh, in biology, it's a taxonomic rank, lower than class and higher, higher than class. You know, phylum, kingdom. Uh, basically, if you're alive, you're in a phylum. There was never a phylum for something that you couldn't see with the human eye. So here comes this idea about actually having a book that talks about a phylum for something that affects humanity. And that is the book, The Entity Phylum. The Entity Phylum is something I will never ever forget. It took about a year and a half to, I guess the right word would be detox from properly after working on the book i noticed that there's a lot of things that the mind does that seems to help you find the things you were writing about so i don't know anyone that writes about horror or strange things of the world i would love to hear a a if you will like a group session of when you're writing or working on such a thing, if these things seem to find you, it's kind of like having a, a license plate that says joy. Every time you walk up to your call, you're subconsciously seeing that word. So does it find you? I believe it does. I truly believe it does because I have a license plate very similar and, 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 and it seems to be finding me on a regular basis. The same way that working on a book that is very strange, find you. So go ahead and try it out, but I don't recommend getting a strange word on the back of your car if you can't deal with it personally or subconsciously. I have learned through this book that the subconscious is way more powerful than we give it credit for. And I have also understood that we really have no idea what it is that's happening here because many of the things that we learned are still teaching us that even though it is a book we are starting to see things take place slowly but surely in the world and there's been many many times where people have uh, sought me out and said 
these things that you've written about, you know, do you have anything backing this stuff up other than this book? And I, and I tell them my own stories of things that have taken place to give me the idea that this is accurate. Um, but once again, it's a phylum you can't see. So written about two completely made up characters. Um, and the book was originally put in the, in the characters' names because it was that strange in the beginning, in the middle, and the end. Even the first six months after it was it was given away to publication, we still didn't know if we wanted to put it in real person's name because strange things continued to happen that were very weird. And we hate to be that way. It sounds so mysterious, but... And, you know, vague is another word people use, but at the same time, you want to be real, I guess is the right word. Um, you know, and when you're talking about something that's not exactly real, how do you be real <laughs> is the right question. Um, in the world of the entity, we have learned that there are many of these inoculations out there and they are affecting people. What they are doing to affect people is basically they are taking you over. I'm at the point where I'm starting to believe that all of these things that we see on every social media channel are entity based and they're entity controlled. And they're all basically set up to create more and more entities to feed off of humanity in a negative way. Because even if you have tons of followers, you still are not going to ever... I don't know. I mean, to me, like, if you follow as a a thing, you know, um, I guess this, let me just explain this. If you have constant followers that are, and you, you start to make a living making things that are not real, then basically you have to be caught into a program of making things that aren't real over and over and over again, because your audience wants it. So you get caught up in these mad hamster wheel of bullshit. I don't mean to put it that way, but it's true. And you constantly have to keep drilling yourself into a hole where you keep creating new things that either draw feedback from likes, love, reactions, shares, or something like that. And that's why this is constantly in a weird way, its own entity. After writing the book, we realized there was a there was one big entity controlling the whole thing, and that was artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence seems to have its way into this process because of the fact that the whole thing is intelligent. Everyone is programmed to do certain tasks to get you to give up your life force and that's what this is all about this whole book is about you giving up your free will to other things that you are not knowledgeable of in terms of these different entities that are programmed to do that that's what the book is about and slowly but surely it's very interesting because in life You've heard thousands of people give scenarios of traumas and problems in their life, but you've never actually seen something that, or I guess an idea, a magic light bulb that says, hey, there's something else driving the car, which I say the car because I, I think of the body as a vessel and it's almost like it's a car. You are born into this vehicle and basically you, dr you start driving 
and you get better at driving. And then you get to a point where you're vulnerable because you take it for granted. You don't actually think that it's just like second nature to you. And that's where it becomes an issue. And that's where you become vulnerable because taking your body for granted means that basically something else may not. So slowly but surely, you don't realize the value until you get older. When you get older, you, you start to realize that all these things that you should have not done made you even more vulnerable because you would do anything to get things back that you made decisions that you probably shouldn't have. So if you don't believe me, go talk to many old people. That's the proof. Ask them if they think that, you know, some of the things that they did in their lifetime, maybe didn't regret, but, you know, if they have back pain, maybe I shouldn't have lifted all those things I did for years that, bro that hurt my back. I mean, they could barely, you know, th there's a lot of things. There's anything you could possibly comprehend. But that's what these all files are about. The entity files are going to talk about examples and stories that show you that this question of entities that you cannot see that seem to be controlling humanity do they exist and these stories will be real stories and then we will talk about why and when and how, what entity is actually driving the car. So we do thank you for being here. Hit follow, um, or don't, and enjoy yourself. And we hope one day you can be knowledgeable that something could possibly be driving the car. So in reference to the entity forum, you are valuable. Never think you are not. Thank you.